Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit Learn about configuration in the sales process from the module Configurable Bundles and Salesforce CPQ. So this unit or module is basically revolving around the Salesforce CPQ product. Now here, as per this unit's challenge, we will be revolving around the concept, how we can uh, create quote lines and add it to any particular quote and how we can select products to be added into the quote lines. But before we begin with this challenge, the first thing we have to make sure is we are signed up for the CPQ Salesforce org. And how we can do that is we have to, first of all, scroll a little bit towards downwards. And here you will find a sign up link over here. Just click on this. This will redirect us to a page where we have to fill out all the details of the form by which we want to create our org. So here the first name that I'm going to give is let's say it's Trailhead CPQ. And email, you, here you have to provide your own so I'm giving out my own email address over here. Let's give out company name, postal code, and username, let's say, cpq.com. Then select this checkbox for terms of use and conditions, etc. Just click uh, sign me up. And this usually takes two to three minutes uh, to send an email uh, with your username. So email will be sent out on the same email address that you had provided at the time of filling that form in the email uh, section. So we'll have to wait for two to, two to three minutes in order to receive that email. Then the next step that we are going to move ahead with will be we are going to connect that uh, org which we are just creating CPQ org to our Trailhead account. So let's just wait uh, for that org to be created and let's see whether I have received that email right now. So right now there is no email. Uh, let's just wait a few more minutes. So it's been four to five minutes that I now receive that email. So maybe uh, it can be internet issue or something else, but uh, you must wait at least four to five minutes if you are not, not receiving the email, even after you entered the correct email address. So here I have received this. So let's just click on verify account. Now this is going to ask me about the password uh, I have to set over here, the password uh, we have to create over here once the screen is loaded. So here the new password, I'm going to give it out. Okay, it's saying two week. So let's just change it to something else. Now click on change password. So this is going to let you log in into your org. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to connect this org to our developer, uh, to our Trailhead account. So how we can do that is, first of all, let's just uh, copy the username from here and go back to your Trailhead unit. Now we have to connect this to our uh, Trailhead account. So here, click on these three dots. Click on connect org. Here you have to provide the username by which we created and the password. Click on login. And this will ask for certain permission. If you want, you can save the password and username. If not, uh, then it's okay. Just click on allow. Click on yes, save it. And this org will be connected to our Trailhead account. If you will scroll to challenge portion, there it is, the uh, THEXP at the cpq.com. So this is the org by which I have created. Uh, uh, this is the username. Now, moving ahead, we have to, we have completed this before you start pointer over here. 
Now we have to move on to the actual challenge that we have to perform. So for that, first of all, launch your Trailhead account. I'll close the other tabs over here. So once it is launched, go to App Launcher. And from here, just select the Salesforce CPQ application. So this will open up the Salesforce CPQ application for us. Now, next thing we have to go to Edge Communication account. So this is the customer for which we have to edit our code. So if I just go back here, go to Accounts tab. So right now, this is recently viewed uh, list view coming up. We have to go to All Accounts. Here, just select, you can see Edge Communication over here. Just select this. Now, this is the detail page of the Edge Communication account. We have to go to Related tab. And here you will see that Contact Related list is there, Opportunity Related list. So here we have to select Printer for Back Office. As you can see from the challenge that, add, uh, that we have to go on to the Printer for Back Office opportunity for Edge Communication. So let's go to this opportunity. Now here, one quote is, has already been created for this. So click on this quote as well. Now, next thing we have to add quote lines uh, for this quote. Quote lines are basically the products that we are going to associate for this particular quote. So how we can do that is we have to click on this edit lines button. So here, using this button, we are going to add products and that products on save will be created, will uh, be converted into quote lines. So first time, it might take some time to load the screen uh, once you click on a deadline button. But after that, the process is uh, simply quicker. Now here we have to add products. So click on this button. The product that we have to add over here is laser printer bundle. So this is basically the bundle. And here in the bundle, you will see that there will be options. So bundle means these are also product. Bundle is suppose you can see a package you can consider in simple language or layman term that it's a whole kind of package uh, which we consider as bundle in CPQ language. So let's just go back to our code. And we have to select laser printer bundle over here. If you we'll scroll a little bit to L alphabet, here it is laser printer. Select this checkbox against this, or you can directly search over here using this search box laser printer. So here I have selected this. Once you select this, click on select button. Now, next thing you will see that there, the since this is laser printer is a bundle, there are certain products with their quantities coming up over here. So the product that uh, product options that we are getting here is toner cartridge, paper tray, high capacity tray, paper, letter. So we have to select all the four uh, options, uh, product options from here uh, using this check boxes. And once we, uh, so this specifier that laser printer bundle I'm selecting, that means all these four products are going to automatically come up under this quote. Uh, quotes quote line right now just click on save so this is going to create a layout where you can see all the quote lines so these are the products coming up over here now once you click on save this is going to create quote lines uh, related to our quote 0001 So here you can see right now, no quote lines, uh, it's coming as zero, but if you will refresh, you can uh, you will find that all the quote lines have been added. Uh, here five is coming up. So we have added four option product options, but the fifth one is laser printer, which itself is a product. Uh, and by the same name, our bundle was uh, there with these additional four products, which all together coming as quote lines. So this was all we have to do. Uh, so these quote lines have been added to our quote to, uh, double, double, uh, 00001. And this quote is again associated to this edge communication account and opportunity printer for back office. So this is how we can add any product or for that matter, any bundle and then product options into our quote.
uh, in the form of quote lines. So that was all for this unit. Uh, let's just go back and click on check challenge uh, button and see whether we have passed this unit challenge or not. There you go, our unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.